everyone it is friday today the 17th of august and i have just gotten myself ready i'm about to go to the salon to get my hair done with mo we will be doing a touch up on my color and i also need to get the ends of my hair trimmed because they are getting a little bit dry so i thought i would take you guys along with me today and show you exactly what i like to get done and then when i'm back home i'm gonna take you guys through some of the products that i like to use and just some like general um, hair care tips that I try to follow. Hey, good morning. Hi. What can I do for you? <laughs> can you do my hair today, please? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, we're gonna be doing my hair now. So what's the first thing that you do? First, I analyze the, the client. Check analyze the, the client. I, I, I check person? this person out now. <laughs> I, 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 I first like analyze the hair. I, I look, well, what kind of color she has, like is there a difference between roots and length? So what I really recommend to do is to get pictures of the style of hair that you like, both for the color and for the cut, because I think it's a lot easier to also show like visually what you want, not just saying, because we can interpret things a lot yeah. differently. So for example, I have a saved thing on my Instagram with different hairstyles that I like, different like colors, but they're all kind of similar. Um, so it's this very like natural kind of grown out beachy balayage that I like, um, that he's really, really good at doing. So we've just had our little consultation and he is going to prepare the color now. We're gonna touch up a little bit on the highlights, just kind of move them up a little bit and and then add a little gloss to the hair to make it nice and shiny and then we're gonna wash the hair and cut it I think we're gonna take about three centimeters off something like that I don't want it to be too short but I definitely want it to feel fresher and just um, without any split ends doing the color now and he's got two different shades over there so he's putting a darker shade and then the highlight shade so he's alternating between the two So guys, what I want to show you as well is, you can actually see the roots of Annie, which is this part. What I want to do now is, I want to bring into this section, like more correcting. So I'm going to put highlights here and put some dark here, that it actually gets a little bit smoother. Now it's too harsh and too hard by growing out. for about 30 minutes and then we're going to wash it out as you can see i have a lot of these white kind of foils in my hair and this is so that the bleach and the darker shade they don't like mix together and it all stays in its place so we are washing my hair now he just did the shampoo and now he's gonna put a gloss in my hair which is my favorite part because it makes your hair super soft and silky and like extra shiny so this is the gloss right there and this he just puts all over my hair to really make it very soft and shiny and there's no color to this there is a slight tone you can choose if you want it uh, like a cooler tone is that right yeah i usually like a cooler tone because my hair tends to lean more on the warm side on the orangey side if i lighten it so i like the cool tone to kind of 
neutralize and balance it and make it look more natural. And this is gonna be in my hair for about 10 minutes and then we are going to condition it afterwards. It is a little bit later, I'm back home, and this is the final result of my hair. I'm so, so happy with it. Mo's been doing my hair now for about two years, so by now he really, really gets what I like. And just from my personal experience with this type of color, it's kind of like this balayage, a little ombre, but like very beachy California type of color. It doesn't tend to happen on the first session, so if you have totally dark hair or totally blonde hair it can take a few sessions and even like a couple of years for it to really grow in and start to look really natural because some of these highlights here are from previous time so not all of the highlights were of course done today but today was a little touch up we brought for example this highlight a little bit higher up and I love these little like I call them peekaboo highlights because when you have your hair straight um, you don't always see all the nuances and the different dimensions in the hair, but when you have it curly, um, it kind of brings out the different tones in your hair. So now I want to take you through some of my favorite products that I use at home and just some general tips that I tend to follow and practice to maintain um, healthy hair. So. Let's go do that. Another thing about this type of color that I think is really important, and Mo and I were talking about it at the salon, but I wasn't recording at that point, but that is the importance of having some low lights in your hair, because if you do this type of color where you add uh, little highlights throughout your hair, eventually if you do it over and over again and you just add highlights, you will be pretty much blonde. So what he did today was a little bit of low lights, which was when he was doing like the thicker part of the hair and then the highlights were the small ones that he was doing this with and then painting and brushing upwards and also with the highlights he added some blue or like purple uh, pigments to the bleach mixture because my hair this type of like dark brown hair tends to go orange and I definitely don't want to have orange hair I've been there before so it's really important if you have darker brown hair like I do this is my natural color that you ask for some blue or violet purple pigments to be added to the bleach or the the lightening agent and those pigments will cancel out the orange tone and it will leave you with a really pretty natural like beige neutral color to your hair. Something else that I think is really important when it comes to this type of color is blending. I've been to a few different hair colorists and hairstylists over the years, but it's a special thing to be able to do balayage and this type of coloring. There is such an art to it, and I'm so happy that Mo knows how to do it so well, and he's also really passionate about it. And then as you saw, we also added a gloss at the end after we shampooed the color out, and um, that just makes your hair feel super soft and silky and it gives it a nice little shine as well and for the cut we took about we just took a little bit off the length so not too much but any um, dead ends were taken off and it just feels so good and soft and I, I love it we always do this kind of like blunter cut um, towards the bottom of the hair or like the back end of the hair and then through the front we add a little bit of like a softer framing to the face so these bits are a little bit shorter and then we have a little a little layer here so this is the longest part of my hair and then this is the shortest 
in the back so there aren't a ton of layers but i do like this little step because then when you curl it it looks a little bit more fuller and a bit more voluminous um all over the hair so it's not just like one long piece i want to try to be as specific as i can when it comes to the color and the cut because a lot of you guys have asked over the years what is the color called or what is the cut called so if you do like this type of hair you could maybe um show your hairstylist this video or uh, take some photos or you know something that you have a good reference so i'm just trying to be as specific as possible but if you guys have any other questions about the cut or the color um just leave them down below in the comments and i will answer those for you guys when this video goes up moving on i want to talk about some of my favorite hair products that i use um shampoo conditioner styling treatments and to be honest i don't really use that much i'm very very simple when it comes to my hair the least amount of products that i can get away with in my hair that's what makes me the happiest because it just feels like normal hair I don't like my hair to feel sticky or crunchy or like that it has too much product in it nonetheless I want to share what I do use I have mentioned these hair products before in a different video but I am still using these these are from Brio Geo the line is called don't despair repair I have the super moisture shampoo and the deep conditioning mask what I really like about the Brio Geo product is that they are a cleaner more natural hair care line so none of their products contain any sulfates parabens silicone phthalates artificial colors or DEA but they actually work and they work just as well as some of the more conventional hair care products just minus all like the harsh chemicals because I really liked the shampoo and conditioner I decided to order some more stuff from them this is the blossom and bloom ginseng biotin volumizing spray so this is a wet spray so it's not like a dry shampoo but you can put this in your roots before blow drying your hair to give a little bit of extra volume I also got the Rosarco Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. So this is something that I apply in my hair when it's damp before I blow dry to protect it from some of the heat. Another product that I've been using quite religiously over the last few years is from Kerastaz. This is the Illuminating Protecting Fluid for color treated or highlighted hair. So this is a leave-in treatment that I apply as soon as I get out of the shower to my damp hair. I've been using this for about five years now and and it's really helped with uh, maintaining my color and it just adds a little bit of a gloss and like a healthy sheen to your hair. Those are the main products that I will use on a regular basis. And then if I am styling my hair or if my hair is just looking a little bit dirty and I don't wanna wash it, I do like to use a dry shampoo. I have experimented with quite a few, but one that I keep going back to is from Whey. This is the dry shampoo foam. So it comes out like a foam, I just rub it between my hands and then press it into the roots of my hair and it will just help to kind of absorb any of the excess oil or little greasiness that could have been going on it doesn't take it away completely of course but it just helps to make my hair look a little bit fresher and I also really like dry shampoo for uh, styling my hair if my hair is too clean or too silky it's very difficult to get this type of curl to my hair that looks very beachy and Bit more texturized so i do like a dry shampoo for that as well or i'll sometimes use a dry texturizing mist the one from oribe is really good i will link it down below i just spray that through my hair to add a little bit of texture and it just helps to keep the curl in my hair for longer and it will give it that kind of beachy um, messy look speaking of curls i do use a curling wand like this one i believe this is a 32 millimeter wand i sometimes also use use a 25 millimeter which is slightly smaller but this one is really good for giving these uh, types of beachy waves let me know if you guys would want to see an updated how I curl my hair video or I could even include it in an upcoming vlog but this is the curling wand that I've been using lately and it's a 32 millimeter another product that I love for my hair is this hairbrush this is called the wet brush and this is the brush that I've been using for I would say almost 10 years now it is my favorite i've obviously bought new ones throughout the years but i always go back to this particular brand and that's because it is so soft and so good feeling on your hair and i would highly recommend it 
for you or for your kids and um, if they have like a sensitive scalp or just don't like getting their hair brushed, definitely um, check this brush out. So those are all the products that I wanted to talk about and I now wanna share some uh, tips that I try to follow to maintain the health of my hair. So I obviously color my hair and highlight my hair, which I know is not the best thing, but I love the way that it looks. So I try to have a good balance with, you know, chemically treating my hair but also to nourish it and give it lots of love and treatments to keep the hair as healthy as possible. So I use the deep conditioning mask from Brio Geo and that really helps to put in a lot of good moisture into my hair. I do the leave-in treatment as well but something that I think is so so important and so helpful to your hair is to not wash it too often. I try to go as few times as I possibly can throughout the week without washing my hair so sometimes it will be two times that I'll wash it uh, sometimes I'll wash it three times but usually never more than that I try to aim for two hair washes per week I do have a video on how I do my scalp massages with coconut oil I will have that linked down below and that will just again help to really stimulate the blood flow and the circulation and the nutrient absorption to all of your um, hair cells and your hair follicles it's really important to get oxygen and blood flow to your hair if you want it to grow really strong and healthy and when my hair starts to get like towards the end of my hair washing cycle I will put it in a bun usually a low bun or um, a high bun a cell that just keeps all of my hair together and slicked back and of course diet what you eat how much water you're drinking is super important for your hair as well so you want to make sure that you are really nourishing yourself from the inside out so that your body has all the right tools and the right nutrients and vitamins to go and build really strong hair so focus on eating really healthy drink lots of water I'm sure you guys know this already but sometimes it's good to have a little reminder and it's something that you're also going to see a huge positive effect with your skin with your body weight with your energy and your mood so eating healthy really does have so many benefits and your hair is definitely one of them so those are all the things that I wanted to mention for this little hair talk I hope that I've been as thorough as possible but if you guys have any other questions just let me know down below in the comments and I will respond to you I was planning on vlogging a few more days but I'm pretty sure that this video has been really in-depth and already covered so many things so I'm gonna wrap up this video here and I will continue um, the next few days in an upcoming vlog which I think you guys will see on Wednesday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that it's been really helpful and informative. I think this type of hairstyle looks good on everyone, whether you're lighter skin, darker skinned, whatever face shape you have. I think it's just like an overall flattering look. I'll also make sure to have links for all of the products that I mentioned down below in the description box. And yeah, I hope you're all having an amazing day. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.